Hi, it's Rod, and this one's called Choose to Be God's Friend. So it's like this is a how to be God's friend manual if we want to read it, and if we don't want to read it, we won't learn how to be God's friend. It's like God created us, and he wants to try to be friends with us, but we have to choose to be his friend. God was trying to be a friend of Adam and Eve. God was trying to be a friend of Satan too, but Satan said, I don't want to be your friend. And Adam said, I don't want to be your friend either. Jesus said, I do want to be God's friend. And Paul said, I do want to be God's friend. And Abraham said, I do want to be God's friend. So we have to decide, do we want to be God's friend or not? If we're listening to Satan, we won't want to be God's friend. If we're listening to the Holy Spirit, we will want to be God's friend. It's what we think truth is. It's what we think life's about. How do we find fulfillment and happiness? Is it through getting saved? Is it through developing a friendship, relationship with God? Or is it something else? Not caring about Christianity. Just caring about ourselves or our human friends or something. So, it's like people try to find friends on Facebook. It's like God's trying to send a friend request to us. Are we responding to it properly or not? It's like this is God's friend request. I want you to be my friend. Do you accept this? Do you want to learn how to be my friend through this? I didn't think this stuff up. God who made us thought this stuff up. I want to send my word to my creation. If they choose to listen to my spirit and think it's important to read, then they can learn about my salvation from their sins. They can learn about how I want to be reconciled to them in friendship through Jesus Christ, death on the cross. So they can start to be close to God, start to hear his voice, start to do his will, be a good friend of a perfect best friend, God. Like the example of Abraham. The Bible says that Abraham was a friend of God. So we need to look at these people like Moses or Abraham or Daniel or Joseph or Jeremiah or Jesus or Paul or John or something. How did they develop a friendship relationship with God? How can we do it ourselves? Jesus said, go make disciples. Teach them what I taught you. It's like uh, churches should be like uh, friendship with God schools. <laughs> Trying to teach people how to be a friend to God like you're a friend to God. But you can't force anybody to want to be a friend to God. If Satan's in their heart, they don't want to be a friend to God. They listen to what Satan's telling them, and they don't think God's very good. They don't want to be his friend. They tend to think God's like their enemy or something, like Adam and Eve. No, we don't want to be friends with God. We want to be enemies of God, like with Satan or whatever. But that doesn't lead to fulfillment. If people could start to get saved through the cross of Jesus Christ, if people could start to feel the Holy Spirit's fruit of love, joy, and peace, perfect peace, fullness of joy, they might start thinking God's good instead of an enemy or something. God's trying to fulfill us, not harm us. He's trying to help us to get into heaven, to live with him forever, instead of have to go to his prison called hell for his enemies. God's friends go to his kingdom of heaven after they die, and God's enemies go to his prison of hell after they die. And we're here on earth trying to choose whether we want to be God's friend or not, accept his friend request, and start to be his friend. So it's like uh, I got saved when I was around 25. I was an enemy of the real God or something till then. Then I decided to be God's friend. And uh, it's been rocky sometimes. <laughs> Because Satan's like a friendship with God destroyer or something. He's always trying to tempt you to believe lies about your best friend God and not want to be friends with him. Especially when we have to live in an evil and suffering world. But that's because of free will choice. And we wouldn't want to live in a world without free will choice. And because we 
live in a world with free will twice. There's a lot of evil and suffering and enemies of God around it. We need to understand that we're never going to find fulfillment till we find a good relationship, until we find our best friend God and have a good relationship with him. It's like uh, Jesus said, I call you my friends. It's like Jesus, God, died on the cross for our sins for us. That's how much he wants to be friends with us. He's trying to send the message to us. I love you so much, I died on the cross in Jesus. I love you so much, I gave my son to be close to you. And if we believe in that, then we can have our sins taken away, and then we can be in perfect friend, God's presence. Like, um, it's like having a best friend giant or something. Best friend God, king of the powerful. It's our image. Satan's trying to give us a lie image of God. He's like some sinful human being that's not worth relating to or something. God's trying to teach us the truth. He's not like a sinful human being. He is like a perfect father or a perfect husband, perfect friend. And it's according to what we want to choose to believe. If we believe God is like a perfect good friend, we're going to want to have a friendship with him. If we believe some lie of Satan that God's trying to harm us and destroy us, steal our happiness or something from sin or something, then we're not going to want to be a friend of his. We'll be, want to be an enemy of his. So we have to learn what the truth is about our best friend God and... Uh, how to have a good relationship with our best friend God from his word. Not just from his word, from his spirit. We need God's voice teaching us what's in here, else we can't understand what's in here. And it's like prayer is like calling up our best friend God or something and trying to talk to him. Do we think it's important to communicate with best friend God today? Or to ignore him? It's like choosing human friends over God or something. I'm too busy with my human friends to talk to my spiritual friend God or something. Or do we see God as our best friend and our human friends as lesser friends? And spend more time with best friend God than our human friends? That's what Satan's trying to tell us is important in our life. Is it best friend God or is it best friend human beings? Is it spending all day on Facebook with human beings, or is it uh, spending all day in prayer with God? We talk about what we love the most, or who our best friends are or something. Are we talking about God all the time? There's no one greater than my best friend God, or are we talking about, well, I want to tell you about my friends on earth or something, or family members or something. Like Jesus said, unless you think that... Uh, He's greater than your husband, wife, mother, father, children, or whatever. You're not worthy of him. We are just the creation, and we're supposed to develop a good friendship relationship with our creator, God. So God would like us to choose to be like uh, a friendly creation of his. A friendly child to a perfect father God, a friendly bride to a perfect husband, Jesus or God. To understand that our success comes from having a good friendship relationship with God, our fulfillment comes from having a good relationship with God. People are filled with fear and depression and anger and stuff like that, bad emotions, if they don't have a good friendship relationship with God. They're still looking for their best friend and they haven't found him yet. But he's waiting for us to choose him to be our best friend. He's already told us he wants to be our best friend. He's already showed us how much he loves us through sending his son Jesus for us, or he loves us through dying on the cross for us so we can be close to him now. Be reconciled to God, have that broken relationship with God that Adam created, mended, healed or something. Through the cross of Jesus Christ, through his stripes are... 
broken relationship with friend God is restored or something. And experience perfect peace trusting in Him. Experience fullness of joy in His presence. It's like Mary choosing the best thing to be with her best friend Jesus. Us choosing the best thing, being with our best friend God. I'm choosing to pray. I'm choosing to study His Word and learn His truth. I'm trying to obey Him to teach His truth about how to be a friend to God to other people. The how to be God's friend, teacher or something. And, and believe that God's not like a enemy. God is like a friend. If he was like our enemy, he would have wiped out this evil creation back in the days of Noah. He has got mercy and love and trying to see if we we'll choose to believe in his truth. Have our sins taken away. Be as perfectly righteous as Jesus is. Be in his presence. Be his best friend on earth like Abraham was his best friend on earth. Like Jesus was his best friend on earth. Like Paul was his best friend on earth. And that's the only way to fulfillment. You could be in a rat-infested prison for a few years like Joseph or Paul or something, but yet you could be fulfilled with your best friend relationship with God in it. Jesus wants to be our friend. God wants to be our friend. He's trying to teach us, be a friend of mine like Abraham was a friend of mine. And that would involve studying his word. He's invisible, but he wants to reveal himself to us through his word and the spirit. It's like I can't see God, but I can feel God. I can't see God, but I can feel God. I can feel peace. I can feel joy. God's pleased with what I'm doing. God's saying, well done, good and faithful servant. I can hear his voice. I can feel his spirit, but I can't see him physically. I might see him in visions or dreams, but not physically yet till I get to heaven or something, unless he shows himself to me like he showed a bit to Moses or something. But that's what should be most important in our life, our friendship, relationship with God. And we do that through getting saved from our sins that separate us from our best friend God. That comes from studying the Bible with God, teaching us truth from it. It comes from picking up the phone and talking to best friend God today through prayer. It's about trying to do what he's telling us to do to have a good friendship relationship with him and try to teach others how to have a good friendship relationship with him. So that's a bit about choose to be God's friend.